ladies and gentlemen, good evening. And uh, thank you so much for joining us on an evening when there is uh, so much excitement going on at the Ram Leela Maidan and elsewhere. So uh, it's very good of you to tear yourselves away from, from that for us. So uh, my name is uh, Shri Kumar. Devashri introduced me as uh, the CEO of IntelliCap. And uh, with your permission, I will take a minute to tell you about uh, this speaker series before I introduce our distinguished panelists. Uh, this evening, or this event, is the second of six speaker events uh, that IntelliCap, in partnership with the Observer Research Foundation, is uh, organizing, um, called the Searchlight South Asia series, funded by the Rockefeller Foundation. Uh, the intention is to examine um, issues such as healthcare, which is where one of our panelists, our, our distinguished panelist, Dr. Hassan, comes in today. Governance, uh, basic services, and generally to bring together stakeholders in the development of sustainable and equitable cities. I think. The Searchlight South Asia program is looking particularly at India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. Uh, and I think it's absolutely appropriate that they do so, because as these three countries between them we account for something like, I may, be, I may be a little wrong on these numbers, so bear with me, but we account for something like 25% of the world's population on 3% of the world's land area and probably 45% of the world's poor, depending on how you define the poor. And there are a lot of arguments in all three of our countries about how to define the poor. But as I say, those are startling figures. On this 2 or 3% of the world's land area, we have, as I say, about 25% of the world's population and about 45% of the world's poor. Now, so those, as I say, are startling and uh, sobering figures. But in one sense, they're also figures that give us cause for hope. And the reason is that this new model that, to a degree, both Dr. Hassan and IntelliCap, the organization that I represent, uh, have a certain belief in, um, the idea that market-based models or public-private partnerships have more to offer in uh, resolving these social problems than they've been given credit for in the past, all the business models, all the models which, which are going to work on a social or a public-private partnership basis have to be at their most viable in the crowded conditions of urban South Asia. So I think urban South Asia is actually a laboratory that the rest of the world is looking at, is already looking at and drawing some lessons from, simply because we have such numbers crowded into such small spaces. And I think that is the basis on which a lot of us are, that, that provides a lot of reinforcement to a belief that a lot of us in this sector hold that market-based solutions or public-private partnerships can and can be demonstrated to deliver better results uh, than many of the older models for delivering some of these basic healthcare services. So with that as an introduction, let me just now go to introducing our, my very distinguished, uh, uh, our very distinguished panelists. Uh, on the principle of ladies first, <laughs> Uh, Rupa Subramanya, uh, which is how she tells me she prefers to be known, uh, is an uh, economist and a columnist. And in, uh, in a description that I, in a, in a bio that I saw of her, uh, I was told that she has roots in Mumbai and Bangalore, which are two of my favorite cities, two of the most cosmopolitan cities uh, that, uh, that I know, and also two of the cities that most desperately need some attention paid to their urban challenges. And uh, Dr. Asher Hassan, I'm absolutely delighted to have uh, to say, uh, is with us this evening. Dr. Hassan is the founder and the CEO of Naya Jeevan, right? um, a healthcare organization that services the urban poor. Uh, I will leave it to him to tell us more about his and Naya Jeevan's unique and fascinating approaches to the enormous challenges in his home country as in ours. Dr. Hassan is 
uh, holds a long string of distinctions, particularly for one so young. So <laughs> uh, he is um, an Ashoka Fellow in the year 2011. He's also been a Rothschild Fellow. He is an invitee to the Clinton Global Initiative. Uh, he, is a, he is a member of the Asia 21 Young Leaders Group. Uh, and Naya Jeevan has been a first prize winner at the NYU Social Enterprise Competition. So with all of that behind him, I'm absolutely confident that he has a great deal to tell us, and there is a great deal for all of us to reflect upon, take away, and simply learn from him. So with all that as a background, as I say, it gives me great pleasure to pass you over to Dr. Asher Hassan. So. <laughs> 